Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown, and I'm excited to be with you here today on Fun Friday. I apologize for missing yesterday on Thankful Thursday. We just got so busy with other clients and, and horses and different things that we were doing, I just didn't get to a video. So I wanted to mention today what I was thinking about yesterday for Thankful Thursday. For Thankful Thursday, I wanted to talk about how, how thankful I am to have the challenges that I have in my life, and especially the challenging horses that I have. Uh, there's many t horses that come to me with with different problems. Sometimes I'm just starting them out. They're colt, or I'm doing colt starting with them. And sometimes horses come to me with with problems, rearing problems, bucking problems, biting problems, pulling back problems. Uh, they've had they've had an accident, or or the owner doesn't know what's wrong, but they're they're cinchy, whatever it is. There are a lot of problems that, that horses come to me with, and I specialize in helping horses through those problems to help them be a safer horse, help them feel more comfortable in this human world that we put them in, and then help their owner have a safer and funner relationship with their horse. And so the more challenging horses that I get, the better my skill set becomes, the more, the more uh, knowledgeable I am and the more skilled I am at, at handling different horse behavioral problems. And that transfers over to be able to helping more and more people and more horses. And I can not only help but with my own skills, but I can also teach people to help their horses. So that's I look forward to doing many clinics in the future, in the near future, and we're going to start doing some clinics for you. And uh, that, that's going to be a lot of fun, sharing my knowledge and just getting to, to mingle with some of you out there. And today for Fun Friday... Uh, I, I'll just let you know what horse I have right here. This is Forrest. And Forrest is the 10-year-old Arabian gelding that came to me and had a, had a hard time maintaining his composure out on the trail, especially when he picked up a, a canter. He would just get out of control. And he's become such a, just a nice horse to ride. And he's going to really be, he's a talented horse. He has talented bloodlines. And uh, maybe one of these days he's going to be a winner in, on the endurance circuit. He, he certainly has a potential to do that. And right now you can see how calm he is. And we're just walking along here doing this video on a calm Friday afternoon. And the, the weather's calm and he's calm and I'm calm. I just love it. And today for Fun Friday, well, my wife and I, Stace, my wife Stacy and I, we're going to be doing, having our date tonight. We, As you know, we've made it a must to, to have a date once a week. And usually that's Friday nights. And I really look forward to those Friday night dates. And tonight we're going to be building a campfire and uh, roasting some weenies. And we're going to start the date with Jakey, our son, our four-year-old son with us. And he's really excited to, to be part of our date. And then he's going to bed and we're going to have our adult time. And that's we're just really excited for that. And I hope you guys, if you're in a relationship, that you take time to um, put effort into your relationship. That's very important. If we want a plant to, to survive, if we take a plant and we want it to grow, whether it be corn in a cornfield or wheat in a wheat field or whatever it is, a plant just a, or a flower, if we want it to grow, we have to water it. We have to give it nourishment and that's sunlight and water. And if we don't do that, that plant's gonna die. And if we don't nourish our relationships, our relationships are gonna die as well. They literally will end up petering out and dying uh, and we just we won't survive them and if we do we won't be happy in them so if you want to be happy in your relationship you have to put some effort into your relationship and that goes the same for anything you want to do in life if you want to be successful at it you have to work at it and marriage and any kind of in any kind of relationship is no different than that and that, actually for fun friday i wasn't i didn't didn't mean to get on a tangent about about that but it is important to to take time to date your partner and that's that's very important and for fun friday i wanted to tell you a couple jokes before i end today and i hope you guys have a great weekend and a wonderful time this weekend and you get to spend some time with your loved ones and friends and for the the jokes as many of you know we're starting a lady horse boss membership site and that's actually going to be starting in two weeks about two weeks and oh, everything's going well. We're pushing to get that done and, and get it up so we can help a lot of people uh, live their best life in every aspect of their life, including horsemanship. And one of the, the aspects that we work on is health and wellness and that, that we address is health and wellness in our life coaching program. And Stacy is, a, as you may know, she's the lady horse boss and she's an extremely good cook. And she, she cooks all kinds of great food for me and our family and for others as well. And sometimes she uses chicken in her dishes. And so this that's the background for, for what this joke is. And this joke is about chicken soup. And um, well, my question is, 
when is chicken soup not good for you? This chicken soup is good for a lot of things and it's, it's good for the soul and warm chicken soup is just is really good for you. But when is it not good for you? When you're the chicken. And the other joke I had is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too much of a believer in bad luck or good luck. I'm a believer in just in creating my own luck. And, uh, but, but I do know one thing. I know that it's bad luck when you, when you see a black cat if you're a mouse. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Those are short, short jokes, and I kind of butchered them a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Make sure to be thankful, live with purpose, live with passion, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.